Lightning will strike anything that stands high above the ground. Trees are a favorite target. Lightning runs through the trees' sap, instantly vaporizing. A strip of bark can explode like wooden shrapnel and travel outward at lethal speeds. what guides lightning's jagged path, or why it chooses to strike in one place rather than another. All we do know is that the path is first created by a trickle of electricity that rushes outward from a charged region high inside the cloud. It begins as a small spark inside the cloud five miles up. A spurt of electrons rushes outward travels a hundred meters, then stops and pools for a few millionths of a second. Then the stream lurches off in a different direction, pools again and again. Often the stream branches and splits. This is not a lightning bolt, yet. It's called a stepped leader, an intensely charged channel leaping and branching down. As it gets close, its electric field begins to exert a pull on the ground. When that step leader is within 10 or 100 meters of the ground, the ground is now aware of there being a big surplus of negative electricity, which has come down on a conductor. Certain objects on the Earth respond by launching little streamers up toward the step leader, uh, weakly luminous plasma filaments, which are trying to connect with what's coming down. If you happen to be standing there, maybe a streamer is going to leave your head and, and, and head toward that step leader. A telephone pole might launch a positive streamer. A blade of grass might launch a positive streamer up toward the step leader. It's that special one which makes the connection, which gives rise to the return stroke and then this, this catastrophic 10,000 ampere current flows. That, that closes the switch. When that connection is made, the electrons drain to Earth in a blinding bolt of light. The part of the channel nearest the ground will drain first, then successively higher parts, and finally the charge from the cloud itself. So the visible lightning bolt moves up from ground to cloud as the massive electric currents flow down. These positive streamers only exist for a minute fraction of a second. Photographs of them are extremely rare. Here, two streamers left the treetop, but only one of them successfully connected with the descending stepped leader. A nearby telephone pole also launched a positive streamer upward, a failed lightning bolt. For decades, ordinary pilots have also reported seeing brief flashes in the sky above storms. Their reports were ignored. But perhaps they were true. This research footage was taken above the massive lightning storms of the American prairies. Scientists have nicknamed these flashes sprites. They're almost too faint to be visible and last a fraction of a second. They're 10 miles wide and reach over 50 miles straight up from the top of the storm. Nobody yet knows what they are or how the storm creates them. Their power and their effect on the atmosphere are still mysteries. But you need to go higher than a plane can fly before you can appreciate the real scale of lightning on Earth. Images from a low light level camera on the space shuttle show nighttime storms flickering across entire continents. 